Hi everyone, I am Nikhil Mittal. I am the creator of Nishang. In this video, let's have a look at Invoke PowerShell TCP, which is a script which could be used as a reverse or bind interactive PowerShell shell. So let's quickly start PowerCat on the local machine and let's run invoke powershell tcp on the local machine as well of course we can use this on any remote machine which is able to connect to a listener so let's use the reverse switch and the port 4444 on which our listener is running and as you can see that we got a listener uh, in interactive PowerShell on the target, which in this case is the local machine. And we can run PowerShell commandlets etc. here. But this is not the focus of this video. But the point is invoke PowerShell TCP is quite small and therefore it could be used from within uh, for example from within weaponized word documents so let's quickly try that out let's copy the one liner of invoke powershell tcp and let's encode it Let's encode it with the invoke encode in the utility directory of Nishan. And the data to encode is is this. Uh, we must tell it that it is a string and we want it in the post script command format. These are the options we use. Now if we open the encoded command file, we will see a shortened and encoded command. Let's just copy this and let's open the client directory and here let's use the out word. Now let's specify if, if you see the introductory blog post of client side attacks with PowerShell you will see that in order to get an interactive shell we have to download and execute a PowerShell script but with invoke TCP one-liner it is possible to get an interactive PowerShell session or PowerShell shell without interacting with the with any web server or the internet of course we must be able to connect to our listener so let's specify this as a payload so this is what our invoke encode uh, encoded and note that we must escape these two single quotes so that the payload gets executed on the target so now we have escaped these so this should be fine so it has been saved to utility directory salary details dot talk now let's start our listener again note that here you have to change values manually 
fortunately it is already configured as two or target and the same port so let's start the listener and let's go to the utility directory uh, we have to assume that we we sent it to a victim and the victim opened this for demonstration purpose so let's just open this and as you can see we have an interactive shell on the target which in this case is a local machine which is quite useful because we are executing a PowerShell script from a word macro which does not need any interaction from the outside outside world no need to download or execute a script or anything we just need to be able to connect to a listener uh, invoke PowerShell TCP has many implementations not only because it is a shell uh, which provides interactive PowerShell. Of course, being able to run an interactive PowerShell has its own benefits. For example, if you read my blog post on dumping uh, or pulling out Windows passwords in clear text on Windows 8.1 and Server 2012, you will see that at least in my tests, I was unable to achieve same results which I was able to get from, our in, from an interactive PowerShell uh, that those were not possible from a metro printer or a PowerShell remoting session. So uh, this could be helpful and also the size of Invoke PowerShell TCP and specifically Invoke PowerShell TCP one-liner are small and allow us to use it for example with this a word document or a human interface device or, or things like that. So that is all about this. This was day one of the week of PowerShell shells. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.